You were on uh, Watch What Happens Live last week with Andy Cohen and said that Sarah Michelle Gellar was ready for Buffy the Vampire Slayer to be over. Okay. After the third season. <laughs> Well, uh, after the third season, oh, yeah. it, it was one of season, those. Like, a lot on that show. It's easy to forget. <laughs> she worked her butt off. I mean, she worked. Obviously, she was Buffy. Mm -hmm. She worked eighteen-hour days for years, and uh, and then he was playing a game or something, and you know, it was a leading question of like who was the most annoyed. Which, obviously, I wouldn't have used the word annoyed, but. She was the most tired because she worked the hardest. But was it an energy that she kind of was ready for this that, for the show to run its course? No, no, no. I mean, she was super f professional. It's just you know, and as she stated at the end of the show, she was done after you know her after the contract was up and everything. But but uh, but yeah, it, that was just uh, you know, it was one of those games. And then he used the word annoyed or something, and I had to answer. And but if I had said the question, it certainly wouldn't have been annoyed. It just would have been like. She was tired. Does that irritate you though when you like then see a headline the next day with you know your <laughs> name and it says she's yeah, annoyed? Yeah, like uh, that I called her annoying or, or annoyed. I was like, no, I answered a question that <laughs> you know I probably should have just rephrased. Yeah. But um, when that happens, but do you reach she out was to the person? incredibly professional, worked her butt off for seven years, and gave amazing television so uh, when you're when you're misquoted like that do you ever feel the need to reach out to the person who you were talking well, about well i went on twitter i'm like guys look <laughs> you know i uh, yeah so it's nice to have twitter so that you can <laughs> talk to <laughs> that thing straight yeah